Let's talk crossplay, which is a pretty hotly discussed topic in the community right now. I'm going to first cover all of the notable code additions in the Season 6 patch, and then we'll talk about what the store data points to, and some community rumours to build an estimated release date. Now, before Season 6, we only had a single launch option in the code, dash force crossplay, which didn't do anything. However, now that Season 6 has come, we've got a ton of new references to crossplay in the code. We've got member variables, as indicated by the m underscore prefix. These are typically variables that are set for the player object when you start a session of Apex Legends. Also, we've got convars, which are developer console commands. This one sets a value which opts the user into crossplay, which, as you can see, allows crossplay to work. And UI scripts, and this one checks if the chat room is able to be joined by the player if they're opted into crossplay. There's also this persistence data store code, which tracks user stats and options in the cloud. Now, how will crossplay work? Because at the moment, each platform uses their own isolated social systems to add friends and such. Well, I figured out that they'll be using EADP, which is the Electronic Arts Digital Platform. This is EA's cloud infrastructure, which provides solutions for a lot of EA's biggest titles. It appears that all social features will be routed through that infrastructure instead of their proprietary friend systems for each platform. This is further evidenced by the massive amount of protocol references for EADP's Antelope protocol that was added this patch. Now, there's also support for rich presence data, which social features use to show if you're online, what you're playing, and your current party status. Notably, this tracks your hardware type, so you'll be able to add cross-platform friends. This is further evidenced by a bunch of new structures, such as the friend structure for the UI, which also tracks your hardware type. This no new social feature should replace the existing friends block on the bottom right of the screen. However, it should be far more substantial of a user interface, as there is a resource file for a tabbed window, similar to how the settings file looks with various different options on the top for different panels. There's also resource files for social pop-ups, which will be a built-in social notification that won't rely on the user's platform such as an origin pop-up in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It'll all be one unified system, which will make it far less buggy and consistent. These are already completely scripted, as you can see this code block for a party invitation. There's also these endpoints for value transfer, which appear to be some sort of cost progression testing, as they suggest that they'll be able to transfer either value or entitlements to another account. Now, entitlements are the items that your account holds, but well, more specifically, the things like Pathfinder Edition or Starter Packs. Value would be the other items. However, that's just speculation. Now, I'm sure some of you remember this clubs feature, which I data mined back in Season 5, and was actually confirmed by the dev stream, where they showed a menu tab for club. Now, if you haven't seen the video, you can click the I in the top right to get up to speed. Clubs also got update this patch, to support cosplay features and advanced event logging. As you can see here, clubs now make a log of everything that's happened in the club 24-7, available for moderation purposes. And it also supports sticky notes, which you might otherwise know as message of the day. There's also support for inviting everyone in the club to your party, and setting more advanced club logs. Now, given how complete this feature actually is in the client right now, I'd wager we're actually going to see it pretty soon, perhaps even with the collection event, which should come on the 15th of September. I know I've been flip-flopping between the 8th and the 15th of September on Twitter, but estimating events with store data isn't an exact science. However, now that I've been able to take a longer look at the store data, I'm confident Aftermarket should come out on the 15th. This is further backed up by prominent content creators such as Staycation, tweeting that we're getting crossplay next month. Which means that it would have to come out on the day of a significant patch, and Aftermarket should be the only significant patch for this month. Now, it also makes sense for it to come before Season 7, as Season 7 and a new map will bring its own set of major bugs that would have to be patched out, and they're likely wanting to get crossplay out of the door so they can fix any problems that crop up before the season releases and they don't have to deal with a perfect storm of crossplay bugs, gameplay bugs, and new map bugs. Now, I can't say if clubs will come with the crossplay patch, but they're certainly getting along in development. Estimating a release date for clubs at this point would be speculation. Well, that's all the information I have on crossplay. I know I've been speculating a lot, but I do think that there is a decent chance that it will come in the aftermarket event. Well, that's all for me. Peace.